about that time, lunchtime, and the Utah Beef Council is back in the kitchen with a delicious and healthy way to use up that leftover steak. Maybe you made some on a weekend barbecue. On the menu today, crunchy steak salad bowls, and it has a homemade dressing to go with it. Take a look. Yeah, thank you so much. That is what's on the menu. Jennifer Burns in for Utah Beef Council making those crunchy steak salad bowls. These are so fun. If you ever do something like a rice bowl or something like that, build it with some you know, steak or even some ground beef, some beans, some different veggies, something like an enchilada bowl. These are just gonna be full of great nutrients for us. We've got lots of veggies going in this one, lots of protein, not only with our star of the show right here, our delicious steak, some sirloin steak there, boneless, that I just cut up into bite-sized pieces so we can put right on the steak, uh, right on the salad, I should say, and also some garbanzo beans. So that's lots of protein in there. Of course, all the nutrients we're getting not only in the steak, but we've got some tomatoes over here, lots of vitamin C there. I've got some English cucumber. We've got some black olives. You could use green olives, Kalamata, whatever you like, or leave them out if you're not a fan. You can always switch these up. We've got some white onion over here, uh, lots of crunch with that, plus lots of crunch with some celery here. And then we're gonna add a little avocado on top. Let's make the dressing first. Right over here, I've just got the mason jar. Great way to make your own dressings in the mason jar. Be able to shake it, put it on the salad, right before you serve it. I've got some fresh lemon juice in there. I've got some red wine vinegar. I got uh, one clove of garlic that I minced in there. I'm gonna get some Dijon mustard. A little tiny bit of Italian seasoning is gonna go into this one, just to, ha just to have more flavor to it. And I've already got salt and pepper in there. So a little Italian seasoning. If you are not making your own dressings at home, try it. Actually, we've gotta get one more thing in there. We've gotta get this olive oil, of course. We've gotta uh, be able to make it come together. And you just wanna just shake it until it's emulsified and everything comes together. And then you can pour it right over the salad when you're ready to serve it. We'll set that aside. We are ready to put everything into a big bowl and then I'm gonna build a smaller bowl. So we've got, of course, like I said, the crunch with the onions and the celery. We've got some of the black olives, the garbanzo beans, the cucumber and the tomato, and of course seasoned well with salt and pepper, even though we did get that into the dressing there. That steak I cooked to medium rare. I did it on uh, my Traeger grill, actually love that, and then let it rest, cut it into bite-sized pieces. Another great option with this recipe is if you're looking to use up some leftover steak, or if you make steak and you're using it a different way, make extra, then you can have it for this salad. Okay, wipe my hands here. Take my tongs. I'm gonna get a little bit extra seasoning here. I did season well all the way through with my veggies when I was cutting them up. Okay, I'm gonna just toss that. Look at all those pretty colors. Of course, representing different nutrients. And then you're just gonna take your bowl and build it. Just put all that you want into your serving bowl. And then that steak avocado on top and of course that delicious dressing. This is what's on our menu, utahbeef.org. Lots of recipes, lots of great options, and lots of info.